Oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, uh, and uh, thank you particularly for pronouncing my name right this time. Um, uh, acknowledge your effort. Um, can I um, first of all acknowledge um, the good work that the former Minister Leanne Delzell has done in this area? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I've known her for a number of years, and uh, she has, um, is uh, the really uh, the financial guru that we have in our Labour Party. And, um, a number of these bills which were um, started by her and now she's the chair of the finance committee and uh, I have had the opportunity uh, at least on two or three occasions to sit in that committee and uh, I must acknowledge that she um, single-handedly um, run the nitty-gritties of the finance matters in that uh, committee and, and I really acknowledge and I uh, have heard even the government MPs acknowledging the, 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 uh, the hard work that, um, that uh, Leanne Delzell does in that committee and I acknowledge um, the work of um, other uh, colleagues as well and uh, Sam Lutianga and uh, other, other friends who have um, um, done the good work uh, in the committee as well. Uh, look, I just want to speak um, uh, briefly about um, the uh, the, the people who are subject to some of these, uh, if you like, abuse by the finance uh, advisors, because particularly in an area like Auckland, a place uh, that I live, uh, I know uh, uh, colleagues, um, uh, Pinsy Wong and uh, Melissa Lee and uh, Sam, uh, they live up there and they are aware of some of the concerns that the ethnic communities, uh, the Pacific community, the Asian communities, uh, face in this area. And those areas really two part. One is the financial illiteracy, if you like. There are a lot of people uh, in Auckland, particularly that I am aware, who, are, uh, very, they, who have very little literacy in terms of finance and economics area, and they're often at the receiving end of uh, wrong information, wrong advice, and they get ripped off. And at the other end, uh, also we got from the same communities, uh, unfortunately, we have people out there who have some knowledge uh, of financial um, uh, uh, literacy and they actually exploit the, their own people. Uh, and I have heard a lot of stories about you know, a number of people who have been exploited uh, by these so-called financial advisors and often uh, really uh, ripping off their own people in their own communities, which is very sad. And, um, uh, you know, this bill and the previous bills, uh, this is more like a, you know, a, a, a technical bill which is uh, tightening up on the previous bills. And uh, clearly uh, this is designed to help those people at the, if you like, the receiving end uh, of the wrong advice by the financial advisors. And I'm uh, very pleased that, um, you know, um, for, you know, these issues are being tied up, particularly given the fact that um, there are loan sharks out there. There are people, particularly in the mortgage area, that they are actually uh, ripping off people and, and uh, selling uh, mortgages, which are really unaffordable to some of these people and who uh, don't understand all the details about these um, issues. And, uh, and also in the area of savings. You know, the people who are elderly people, uh, the people who are you know, having some savings and they want to put it in the right place so they can have uh, a very welcome, uh, Mr. Robertson. Uh, Ross Robertson, um, welcome to the house. Uh, and also my colleague here, who uh, just arrived probably from Auckland, has uh, been doing a good, good job out in the community. And I'm sure he's, um, he's doing a good job, particularly in the area of uh, vulnerability of our people. And John Hayes, uh, I, 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 I really um, I, I feel that you should really acknowledge, um, uh, Mr. Chairman, he should acknowledge the good work that Leanne does have done rather than uh, you know, he has been only here for a second term, but he probably doesn't know the, all the hard yard which has been done in the past. So, John, I think we should give credit where due. Um, so the hard work which has been done in the past, we should acknowledge that. Uh, like um, John Hayes, he's uh, done some work in the foreign affairs. So I think we acknowledge the work he's done over the years. Obviously, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. So, um, Mr. Chairman, um, you know, there are risks involved, and I think we need to help uh, particularly those in our communities who have very little knowledge 
uh, understanding of financial matters, and this bill is designed to help those people, and I'm supporting of this bill. Thank you. The Honourable Leanne Delzell.